cop arrested my wife when she wasn't even drunk. Can we beat the case? Okay, OP. This is OK, OP. I'm Samuel Donner. And I'm John Fry. And we tell the funniest stories on the internet. Yes, we do. And Sam, I'm curious, have you ever had a situation where uh, you were wrongly punished? Could have been a parent, could have been a teacher, anything like that. Yes, actually. So when I was, so I studied engineering at UCLA and one of our labs, we were supposed to put together this like massive lab manual or like, like, like a, uh, it was, it was a lab assignment, right? Right, right. So we do all these experiments and we put together this 20 page document and we have a lab partner and we were, we were, they said we're allowed to share data. So we shared data. And then I get a call from the Dean saying, you have copied your lab partner's uh, data. You're going to the Dean. We're going to expel you from the engineering program. What? And I'm like, excuse me? The freaking teacher said we could use our same data. And so I start going through this process of basically like, you know, getting my, my crap kicked out of me by the, the office of like plagiarism or whatever. And this guy, like my, my, uh, I had to have a meeting with my parents, right? And this guy comes in and he's like, like scoffing at me, thinking like, like treating me like dirt. Yeah. Some, some dirty criminal, yeah, like the yeah. scum of the earth. And right I'm here. not a criminal. Um, and then uh, what happens is I eventually get like the receipts of the email in front of them. And I'm like, yo, like, look at this. I have it in writing that you are wrong and I am right. And then the guy's like, and uh, and then I got a 98 on the project. Wow. Not only was he right, ladies and gentlemen, his work was so good. He got a 98. Hey, yo. Un unjust punishment. Yeah. That so that was definitely like that was that was spooky. Um, and I hated it. Oh, my gosh. That would be insane. Yeah. Like, whew. well, I have another story of unjust punishment. OK, let's hear it. Cop arrested my wife when she wasn't even drunk. What? She's not even drunk. You can't arrest her. Can we beat the case? I hope so. So my girlfriend went out for a couple drinks with her friend last night. She did drink too much, and she waited until she knew she was sober enough to drive home. When the time came, she drove herself and her roommate home in her roommate's car. Well, she was headed home. On her way, she noticed that the headlights were off and flipped them on a couple of blocks down the road. A minute or two later, she was pulled over by a police officer. She admitted to having a couple of drinks, and the police officer asked her to get out of the vehicle. This is where it gets interesting. This is where it goes downhill. The officer made her take her glasses off in the dark during a snowstorm to perform a sobriety test. He then declared she was drunk without having her blow to test her blood alcohol level. So basically, there's a vice. You blow into it. It tells you what the blood alcohol level is for certain. He didn't do that. Why didn't he do that? A good question. He decided to arrest her on the spot without proof and took her to jail. Then at jail, she blew a point zero six. The legal limit in Wyoming here is zero point eight. So she was legally below the limit. Yeah. And so essentially she was not drunk driving. Yeah. She should be fine. She she should not be arrested. She should be okay. The lady at the booking desk told her to get an attorney when she heard what her blood alcohol content was. You know that <laughs> you, you know that you're in the yeah. right if the lady at the desk this is, is like, like, honey, you need a lawyer. You need a lawyer. <laughs> this crap is not going down the way it should. Yup. My question is, does she have a decent chance to be ruled innocent in a court of law? We have no money and probably can't afford a good lawyer. I could barely afford her bail. She is on track to be a school teacher and blowing a point zero six shouldn't deter her from being able to pursue her whole dream and wreck her life. Yeah. A few drinks, legally speaking, shouldn't ruin your career. Yeah. And it's not like, I mean, one, she wasn't drunk. Two, I, I don't think she did anything wrong no. on the road. No. Um, and three, she was honest. She's like, yeah, I had a couple of drinks, but we were fine. Like I was fine to drive. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that would suck if it ruined her whole life, especially when the lady at the desk was like, "Yo, you need a lawyer because this cop's going down wrong. Oh, but Sam, her headlights were off for a few blocks. Whoa. So clearly, Whoa, clearly she's drunk off her rocker. Sam, people who have their headlights off for a few blocks, they deserve to have their careers ruined. No? Yes. No, I agree. I am a police officer and I agree. <laughs> <I'm> sarcasm. <laughs> Slash S. <laughs> 
Any advice would be greatly appreciated right now. We have two weeks before she has to appear in, in municipal court. And there is an update. There's an uh, Okay, I want to hear this update. Did she get sweet justice? To start off, thank you for all the help. I am against and drunk and unsafe driving, and so is my girlfriend. In this situation, she believed she was good to drive and would not harm anyone. And of course, she was tested below the level that considers her legally drunk. It was a terrible situation all around, and she wishes she had just walked or taken an Uber. Facts. Take an Uber, guys. And then the final update. After reviewing the body cam footage, the prosecutor dismissed the case. Woo! Let's go! Now, I haven't seen the footage for myself, but according to her lawyer, it was clear she was not impaired. The case was closed. Case closed. You are not guilty. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. You know, it would be fun if we did like a Judge Judy show where we took the most insane, ridiculous cases, cases. and then we we're like, you're guilty or you're not guilty. Yeah. That'd be fun. I, I want to I wanna show where like, like there's, because we, we only, like with these Reddit stories, we only ever get one side. Yes. Yes. And, and like in, in the Am I the A-hole, I would love like, like both sides and and just be like who's right who's wrong you decide or we decide rather like uh we had a story where there was a karen who stole a blind person's dog i want to hear her perspective <laughs> yeah wh what's your story karen <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself <laughs> uh i have no idea but man i'm so glad that op uh got free and is able to do whatever the heck she wants now pursue her dreams watch whatever she wants to watch um including maybe the best show on the internet okop that's right so why aren't you slapping that subscribe button on youtube and following us on spotify and tiktok come on do it right now just do it just do it if you want to be a real one support us on patreon that's right join amanda will combs connor van buren keegan simmons and kathy quigley see you soon